Hi, my name is Tor Mønsen, and I'm the product manager for Guitar Effects at TC Electronic. Today I'm going to show you something totally revolutionary, a brand new tuner pedal, unlike any other tuner pedal you've seen before. Polytune is in essence the world's first polyphonic tuner, and that means that if I strum all the open strings of my guitar, I get an instant readout of the individual strings pitch. So looking at this, it tells me that my G string is a little flat, and my high E string is a little flat. The other strings are perfectly fine. So let me just adjust those while strumming. And now, I'm in tune. Easy as that. So this is obviously a huge time saver during concerts. Between songs, you simply just strum, tune, and you're ready to rock again in no time flat. A lot faster than the traditional way of tuning the individual strings one by one. Polytune works with guitar and four, five, and six string bass as well. And you can even drop the tunings. So let's say you play in a Hendrix tribute band, you can drop your entire guitar down to E flat, or if you play metal and you tune to, to B, you can do that as well. It's very easy. You just press the tuning, uh, the tuning button up here, And now I'm back to E again. Wait a little while, and the setting is stored. The accuracy of the polyphonic tuner is amazing as well. It's plus minus one cent, which is as good as most ordinary tuners out there. Let me just show you how exactly how uh, accurate it is. So now I press the neck of my guitar, and you'll notice the strings go slightly flat. And now I tune it up. So obviously, you may want to use the polyphonic tuner just for testing. And that's why we, on top of the amazing polyphonic tuner, have also done a great, great chromatic tuner. So let me show you how that works. And so on. And at the end, I can use the polyphonic tuner to test whether I'm in tune or not. The accuracy of the chromatic tuner is even more precise than the polyphonic tuner. It's 0.5 cent plus minus. So that means that you can use it for those fine tuning moments. On top of that, we also have two different display modes. What you saw before was the needle mode. We also have a stream mode that's similar to strobe tuners that you might know. So adjusting a string Having the arrow go right means that I'm a little sharp. Having it go left means I'm a little low. And I'm perfectly in tune when it's perfectly still. So what good is it having a polyphonic tuner and a chromatic tuner if you can't switch between them? Well, with Polytune we made it very, very easy. Inside uh, the pedal is an algorithm running automatically detects whether a signal is polyphonic or monophonic. And that means that if I strum all the strings, I get the polyphonic tuner. If I plug one string, I get the mono tuner. Poly, mono, as easy as that. Polytune is the only tuner out there with an ambient light sensor that automatically detects the amount of light in the environment and sets the brightness of LEDs accordingly. So that means that if you're in a very bright room or outdoors with the sun shining, we put maximum power on the LEDs. If you're on a dark stage, then we dim them down. So that means that you get the optimal amount of light to the LEDs and we save battery as well. You may have noticed that the display in Polytune is different from what you'd find on your regular tuner. First of all, we have a lot more LEDs, almost a hundred to be exact. And what that gives us is more accuracy. So essentially we have more increments to do fine tuning than other tuners out there. And on top of that, the LED matrix allows us to actually write information on the screen that you'd normally have to find in your manual. So for example, the reference tone can be written 
in actual numbers instead of you having to guess it on a seven segment or something similar to that. On top of the amazing display, the rest of the Polytune hardware is great as well. First of all, we have two bypass with silent tuning, and that obviously means that whenever you bypass the pedal, we don't mess with your precious guitar tone in any way, and when you press it and activate the tuner, you have silent tuning. Polytune can run off a regular 9 volt battery or an optional power supply. If you use a battery, then changing them is a breeze. You simply just unscrew the big knob and you have access to the battery here and a protective casing so you don't mess up the DSP board. If you choose to use the optional power supply, you can actually power several other pedals using the 9 volt DC out here. It outputs up to 1500 milliamps, so that's plenty to power most of your other pedals. Like other tuners, you can of course also change the reference tone, and this works with the polyphonic tuner as well. So if you want to change your reference tone from 440 Hz to 441, for example, you just press and hold the two buttons here, and then I can toggle up and down through the different tones to 441 or 440. Polytune also has internal memory, and that means that whatever you put into the pedal, meaning that, for example, if you play at 441 Hz, if you use stream mode instead of needle mode, and so on, it's actually stored in the pedal, even when you remove the battery or take the power off the power supply. So that means that whenever you get back to the pedal, you know exactly what settings you get. So what if you lent the pedal to your bass player and he changed the poly mode from guitar to bass? How do you know uh, what setting is currently stored? Every time you turn the power on, either through the 9V DC in, or with the battery, when you plug in the cable, you're actually shown the settings that are currently stored in the pedal. So I have needle mode and guitar tuned to E, and I have 440 hertz programmed into the pedal. So that way I'm totally sure every time I turn the pedal on that I have the right settings. Polytune is the only polyphonic tuner on the market. It makes it amazingly fast to tune between songs, and it has the absolute best display on the market today, so make sure you go down to your local shop and check it out now.